Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bolt Motorsports. Today we're gonna to show you some Mopar goodness. This is a 500 cubic inch, 630 horsepower, 727 torque flight with a gear vendors overdrive, four wheel disc brakes. It's a rocket ship. We're gonna take you guys for a ride on a rocket ship. If you guys wanna find out more information on this ride, click on the link below. Also, please like and subscribe so we can keep on sweating outside for you and showing you what these things can do. Overall condition, I'd rate this an eight out of 10. Shows extremely well, a lot of tasteful modifications. Does have four wheel disc brakes and the brakes are actually polished aluminum. Uh, interior is extremely nice. Does have Dakota digital gauges, has a cheetah shifter. So you have a, uh, it's like a reverse valve body basically, I believe. So you pull down to shift instead of gating up. Windows work excellent. And you know, I'm delaying showing you guys the engine bay because it's so nice. Body straight, um, I don't see much filler. Front chrome is extremely nice and they do have that proper spackle here. Mopar spackle. Spackle. I'm gonna open up the hood. So you do that. And there's a small release right here. Oh my gosh. So it's powered by a 500 cubic inch wedge motor, uh, Sniper EFI, headers, the whole nine yards, 635 horsepower. Hydro boost setup. So with a cam that's aggressive, you're gonna to wanna to do that and it runs off the power steering pump. You're not gonna have any issues when you have vacuum. Hood is from a 69, so it has that 69 scoop on it. And it closes nicely. Passenger side's the same as the driver's side, no real imperfections. It's a sports satellite. All of your trim looks really nice. Your roof line's perfect. And it's the right color for a Mopar. Interior does have custom seats. I talked about the Cheetah shifter already. And you do have your sniper control module right there. Rear seats match the front seats in regards to upholstery, so it has Alcantara. Dash is extremely nice, and the headliner is very nice as well. Door cards are great, and you can still see the welds, or I'm sorry, the, the door uh, skin right here. It's not filled in with, with Bondo closes nicely too. Throw on a set of Boyd Coddington, so it has 18s in the rear, 17s in the front. Uh, tires are in great shape. They have around 50% tread in the rear. You can see the uh, disc brakes, and then if you look at the rear end, it's a Dana 60 with 373 gears, and it has strange axles. Back to the driver's side. That's the best angle for this car, where you're, where you're standing right now. Extremely clean. Rear bumper is extremely nice too, so all the chrome looks perfect. I'm popping the trunk right now. Look at how nice this paint is. It's like a, a pearlescent orange. Beautiful. It does have a aftermarket stereo that sounds great. Two subwoofers back here. Nice and solid back here. The paint was done properly. You do have your battery in the back. Let me start it up so you can hear it. What's nice about the fuel injection is you let it sit for a couple seconds, turn the key and she fires right off. Oh yeah. 92, real feels 102. Feels like 102 here. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Let's jump in and go for a ride, come on. All right, we're gonna take it for a spin, show you what it can do. So you shift it manually. Oh, it's got a shift kit. Drives down the road extremely nice. I want you guys to look at our underside shots of this one. Very, very clean. We'll test out the overdrive once we get to our area. Six hundred horsepower. Oh yeah, it's got six hundred horsepower. That's uh, that's impressive. That's definitely. That's six hundred horsepower. Because you're like, ah, oh, it's just. I'm like, oh, not a doubt. Yeah. Six hundred horsepower. And it has the perfect gearing. So with the gear vendor's overdrive, you can actually 
get on the highway, you still have the, the ability to use your, you know, 373 gears are tall, so they give you better acceleration, but then you can click on your overdrive button and you're able to cruise on the highway because it gives you that fourth gear. Suspension feels good. We're in second. American muscle, baby. That, that should just sell the car right there. If you guys have any questions about this ride, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Just set it up. Let's see if it'll automatically go into overdrive. And then, there we go. So I believe you can have it set for when you put it into overdrive or it'll do it automatically when you're driving. But some people don't want that because you don't want it to go into overdrive when you're driving it aggressively. And the dog's breaking back. Hey, buddy. Let's go over the interior since we didn't do that. Um, you do have Dakota digital gauges and everything works properly. So your tack is working. You can actually see the tack operating. We've got our fuel gauge right there. Our lights operate as they should. You have a amazing stereo and wipers at work. The stereo is unreal. Sounds good. Your headliner is extremely nice. You do have your, uh, your visors here that work and it does have a grand steering wheel to match the interior. These are, I believe this is vinyl with Alcantara center sections and then the rear matches as well. So how you can drive it is look, second gear. We're going over bumps right now. Still in second, about 3,000 RPMs. Third, and it shifts hard. Overdrive is working. Oh man, it's, I'm touching the throttle and it feels so responsive. The motor is so big that the steering components had to be fit through the oil pan. So when you look at the underside shots, you're gonna see the steering arm goes in between it goes through the oil pan. They had to make a custom oil pan for that. So you have to take apart the suspension for the for the uh, steering arm to go through, and then they bolt it back up. We're in third gear right now, cruising, no issues at all. Once we get to our test course, we'll be able to test it out. But it drives great, no overheating issues. Very, very impressive, this car. Getting it back in a second. See how she feels. Are you ready? Wow. Feels good. I let off. I mean, it's just it's pulling it's almost to uh, illegal speeds here. Uh, you see the airplane. We are uh, about five minutes from the Fort Lauderdale Airport, so if you want to fly in to take a look at this ride, you're more than welcome to. We'll send someone to pick you up, or I'll come pick you up in person. We're in first. Whoa. Feels good.
subscribe. If you have any questions, give us a call. There's not enough road for this car for us to show you a full pull, but hopefully you get the point. This thing is a rocket ship. Good luck. See you later.